Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-April 2024. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Saggy. Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Knight of Swords. You're definitely moving somewhere. There's a direction somewhere you're going here, uh, which feels good. feels right. feels like, okay, this is what I'm doing. feels good. Okay. Um, interesting. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, starting off the reading, you get um, Seven of Wands crossed by the Knight of Cups. You're looking like you're going against something that has to do with your heart, with an emotional aspect of something, but it still feels right to go in that direction if you're, even if you're going opposite of that, you know? So, okay. Um, in your focus, the death card. Are you leaving a situation? It kind of looks a little bit like that. Like, okay, this, no more, that direction. All right, in the recent past, the King of Wands, um, that's you, feeling really right about where you're at, what you're doing, your decisions, you're, you know, very clear, very, okay. In your strength, the Ace of Swords, it's just a matter of taking the action to, because uh, in, in the beginning, you're kind of falling in alignment with something, you're like, okay, this is what I feel like I gotta do, and then it's about doing it. And you're, if you're not in the middle of the action, you're definitely getting into it. You're starting to move in that direction that feels right. Okay. In the immediate future, the Five of Cups, this could be the repercussions of that in the sense of um, if you are leaving a situation, for some reason it doesn't make sense for you anymore and you're walking the opposite side of it, um, it may not be easy, you know. Even, even if you do decide, okay, this is what feels right for me, that doesn't mean that there isn't a, a grieving process to it, you know? Um, in the supporting this reading, the chariot definitely feels right. Like all, all, everything about this feels right for you, I mean, in how you're feeling it and how you're presenting this situation. Uh, even if it comes in with a little bit of pain, a little bit of having to go through something, it still feels right at the end of the day, you know? Um, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Eight of Swords, you may have the tendency to start overthinking things through this process, which is not going to help the process, and I think you know that. Um, and given that it's shown up in the hidden energies here, it could be that you you're not noticing that a lot when it happens, when you're in your head too much about things. In your hopes and fears, the two of pentacles, you're kind of hoping you're making the right decisions here and that, you know, that you're not fooling yourself in the moment, um, hoping not to fall into a place of what now, you know, I, I did it, what now? Um, and for the potential outcome, the nine of pentacles, that's a good outcome for what I'm seeing here. You know, because you're landing on your feet and it feels grounded and it feels good. And you feel stronger, more independent, you know, more free. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's clarify. Let me do the Knight of Swords. The Fool, the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it just feels good. Feels good. It does come with the trace of, I hope I'm right, you know. Uh, as you go through the motions of this, you're definitely showing up with a little bit of, a, you know, like that cherry on top. The cherry on top is the energy of, I hope I'm not messing this up. I hope I'm right, you know. So not, not, not the sweetest cherry, but... Um, this could there's definitely a partnership involved here where you could be walking away from something and it could be tied up to work it could even be a friend 
um, but definitely somebody that you're you have a bond with here um, or you've worked on something together let me do, do, do the seven of wands four of cups the hangman the moon you're a little sad here I don't think I, I I'm seeing you I don't think you've taken the steps I don't think you're you're in the middle of the action of this uh, but it's definitely around the corner like if you haven't you will by the end of the month for sure um, it's that close you're a little sad though but it, it feels like one of those natural things though a little bit of Let's say you're switching careers or something, and uh, as much as you kind of got whatever you could out of what you, you've done so far, and you could have loved whatever you've done so far, this change feels just right because you also love what's up ahead. And it's one of those things of trading places or, you know, kind of switching from this side to this side. Because I don't see, <clears throat> I don't see major fights or oh this sucks oh you know or that kind of an energy attached to what you're transitioning from, um, and I also see like a natural flow to the next thing whatever that is, <clears throat> and sadness with it you know because it it does come with the territory. It's still gonna happen. It's still you're still gonna no matter how much you love this, it's still something you, you could possibly leave behind. What is going on out there? I thought I thought Saturdays were more quiet around here. Apparently not. Um Well I am in the capital, like in a in, not in the middle, but um uh, it's pretty noisy out there. I'm not used to this commotion. <clears throat> That's a lot of commotion out there. I assume a, an ambulance, but I don't even know. I don't know the sounds here necessarily. But anyways, for the Knight of Cups, you get the King of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Strength card. Yeah, uh, again, feels right. Yeah, it feels like it's either your... You're being promoted or something. I don't even know what the hell this is. Because it, it, it comes with an energy of growth of, you know, like this is good, but this is better kind of a deal. <clears throat> Let me do the death card in your focus. The queen of pentacles, the star, the seven of pentacles. Yeah, there's an attachment to what you're leaving behind too, which is normal. You know, it's understandable. Um, the thing is, if you focus too much on that in the sense of, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, but it's good too, but it's, you know, like I, I can't, uh, um, it's just gonna disrupt the flow towards the next level. You know, there's a, there's a little bit of slowing you down in it if you ponder too much on this energy of uh, the loss of it. Yes, grieve it. Yes, go through the motions of feeling sad and feeling all of that just don't get stuck in there you know what i mean because it might slow you down um okay let's do the ace of swords in your strength the nine of cups the nine of pentacles the hermit again feels very aligned nine of cups and nine of pentacles i mean emotionally physically everything around this action of moving in that direction that you you want to move in or you have to move in it's just feeling very very balanced very aligned very right you know so it's, it's like from any angle i look at this i'm like i'm seeing the same thing i don't see any glitches in this energy i'm like come on let me find something wrong with it it's like nope i'm like okay <clears throat> In the uh, immediate future for the Five of Cups, you get the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Two of Swords. It's gonna be, um, and it's again, it's coming down to this energy. If you get stuck in what you're leaving behind in that energy of whatever that is, 
grieving or whatever it is of leaving something or someone behind um <clears throat> It's just gonna, that's where the overthinking comes from. That's where the, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what's gonna happen, da, 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 da. And starting to worry about specific, uh, potentially people involved in what you're leaving behind. You know, let's say it's someone you've worked with or, and then thinking about them all the time, like what's gonna happen to them, what's, you know, stuff like that. Um, Yeah, it's just you, you got to pay attention to this energy of getting a little stuck in there through worrying about things, you know. Um, they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine here. Let's do the chariot in the supportive energies. You get the ace of swords, the seven of wands, the six of wands. It's just that blockage in the movement forward, in the movement towards the next thing here for you. It's, it's, it, the, there's definitely a blockage there. It's not huge, but it's there and it's coming from you getting stuck in these energies that I just talked about, basically. But you're going from the seven of wands to the six of wands. You know, it's definitely decreasing. It's definitely getting better and better each day. So you're not necessarily getting stuck there. Uh, for a long period of time and when you do you're coming out of it when you do realize hey what am I doing here you know um, like I I should focus on the movement forward here so you're not stuck stuck um, and the fact that sometimes you you get stuck in there for a split second it kind of slows down your process but it's not disrupting it it's just slowing it down you know and I don't think you want that for the Eight of Swords in the in the Hidden Energies, you get the Temperance card, the High Priestess, the Two of Cups. You just want what's best for everybody involved, not just for you. That's where it's coming from, this worrisome kind of an energy towards them, 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 this, that, you know. Um, it is best. If you're good here, I'm sure the other energies are going to be fine with whatever's going on here you know but it's almost you're almost giving me a sense of i can't help it you know worrying about what i'm leaving behind um you can you can you can come at it from a place of love and support and understanding that you know sometimes change is part of life most times um instead of oh what's gonna happen with this situation or that person or yeah they'll be fine they'll be fine if you're fine here all of the other other energies involved are going to be fine um for the two of pentacles in your hopes and fears you get the king of cups the wheel of fortune the five of pentacles You're also scared a little bit of what's up ahead, uh, of the changes that are at play, of the place you're going. Even if you were to know the place you're going and to be secure that, it, oh my God, it's the best thing ever, there's still a little fear, you know, because it's new. It's it's quite normal. Um, basically, you're kind of going through little bumps in the road here. Uh, they're not a big deal. You're definitely crossing them pretty fast. Um, and they're not disruptive. They're just there to slow you down, you know, speed bumps, slow down, basically. Um, yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not a lot, but it's there as a, as a bump in the road. Uh, this kind of little fear here that's shown up. For the Nine of Pentacles in the potential outcome, you get the Six of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Death card. This is a change for you. This is a going from this energy to this energy. This is good. This is better. This is where I am now. This is where I'm going. Uh, I'm on my way. Um, what belongs to this energy here? Think of it as a little bubble that has all of these other energies inside of it. You were part of that. You're detaching from that. You're going into the next bubble. Um, you may leave some energies there 
most energies you're not taking with you. Um, there's some really tight energies to you, maybe close friends, maybe close something in there. Um, there's others that are just there. They're still part of it, but they're not as close. So you're kind of giving me a differentiation in how impactful you're leaving this bubble maybe towards certain energies and it's going to be in the bigger picture over all energies because it's kind of like taking from a whole taking a little part out of it you know um so it's it's going to affect the bubble that's for sure but that doesn't mean the bubble is not going to be okay you know because what you're doing here is worrying um about what's going to happen with that bubble once you leave the bubble um and a little bit of worry here and there, pretty normal. The more you worry about the bubble bursting or something happening to it because you're gone, uh, the more you're having a really hard time leaving the bubble completely. And it's not gonna help out the energies left in the bubble either. You know, they're gonna feel that sense of, oh my God, doom day is coming because we're feeling some energies from um, inside the bubble and then outside of the bubble saying that we're not okay, you know? So, for some reason, you're entering this space of worrying a little bit in the beginning and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I don't feel like it's going to get to the point where it gets so big that those energies are going to be affected in a negative way. Uh, but it could if you don't pay attention to how much you worry about things here. And it's going to impact you more than it does at this point. For now, it's looking like little bumps in the road. You know, so if you keep it like this and then try to kind of focus on the bubble you're going into next, you'll be fine. These bumps will disappear. That bubble that you're leaving behind is going to be fine. All the bubbles in the world are going to be fine and it's going to be okay. It's for some reason with this reading, I feel like you need a little bit of, you know, a pat on the back, a little bit of, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's, and it, it will, because it will, because that's what I'm seeing here. I would tell you, you know me. You know, I'm like, what the, what's going on here? No. Everything lines up in the way that it should. And the worrying, not a big deal for now, but it could cause quite the commotion there, energetically. Not only for yourself, but for the bubble. And remember, you're coming from a good place here, from a place where you want everybody to be okay. Then why worry? that's going to make things not be that okay, you know, if you keep on going in that direction. Trust that it's going to be okay, and it will. <laughs> I kind of want to give you a hug now. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, it's like, come on, you can do this. It's that need for, yeah, I, I, I need, I needed that kind of a deal, you know, it's coming into play here, but you'll be fine, Saggy. Yeah, no, you'll be fine. Let's do... Hold on. Let me do the universe. I almost uh, did the angels and ancestors. The nine of wands, the queen of swords, the four of cups. Um, and then you're becoming really practical and telling me, you try not worrying about things. Okay? I'm worried, okay? Okay. But don't be. <laughs> um, when you talk to me from that position there, you have no heart involved in the situation. You're just very rational about things, very logical about things. So of course you're going to find issues when you're in that headspace, you know, we're in that space altogether. So try to bring your heart into play a little more so that you can open it up to the situation and just trust from that space that you're gonna be okay. Okay, and the bubble too. Uh, let's do the angels and ancestors oracle. You get the sage, be devoted and committed. Okay. <clears throat> The message, be willing to go the whole road and back again. This will allow you to be the best you can possibly be. About, 
The sage represents the wise one within. When this card arises, it shows that you are preparing to become a great and insightful teacher to your peers. It guides you to take notes as the wandering yogi is on this card because your knowledge and life experience can impart incredible insights to those with whom you come into contact. This card is also about observation and becoming more aware of who you are and of all your inner workings because the awareness can bring more clarity to your decisions. The extended message. Devotion is a powerful energy. Right now, angels and ancestors want to acknowledge how committed you are to your growth. You continued, your continued dedication to this aspect of your life has been recognized and your understanding that you are not only a body but also a soul is all you need to continue growing and expanding. The energy of oneness is offering itself to you now and it's important to take some time to integrate it all so that you can be supported and guided by it. This is what the divine wants for you. Make a note of experiences or teachers making themselves known to you at this time because you are going to share those teachings one day too pretty cool pretty cool reading you have stop worrying though anyways that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye